Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Looking Backward, Looking Forward, and our scriptures, John chapter 8, where the beloved apostle writes, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said. We've never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean you will set us free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets you free, you are truly free. Yes, I realize that you are descendants of Abraham, and yet some of you are trying to kill me because there's no room in your hearts for my message. I am telling you what I saw when I was with my father, but you are following the advice of your father. The obvious is sometimes missed in the prejudice. The difference between what Jesus meant and what the short-sighted people wanted to know is that simple. They looked backward to Abraham, tracing their beginnings to a man. Jesus was pointing for them to look above earthly lineage, forward to the one who had created both Abraham and everyone else. They saw things from a point in time, honoring another point in time. Jesus had held both time and eternity in his hands when he created it all. They were held captive by their backwards look. He wanted them to be set free to a kingdom forward look of who was standing in front of them. They were looking back, stuck in pride over their Abrahamic heritage. He wanted to free them to see an eternally blessed forever family. There are two outcomes in this encounter with the people that were following Jesus. There are those who could not see because they had never had their eyes opened by living truth. And there were those who would not see because they held their eyes shut despite having the living truth standing in front of them. And that prejudice makes all the difference between traveling the road lesser taken and remaining broken in the past. How do you tell the difference? Jesus said that some of them, the ones he was speaking to in that moment, were trying to kill him. That meant the others were truly seeking the truth, not looking for a reason to stifle the truth. Closing your eyes against the light does not extinguish what truly exists, and that is the difference of humility, ready to confess ignorance and receive forgiveness. It's how light enters the heart and you see the forever family Jesus came to create. For you today, whatever point you've reached in life regarding a relationship with your Creator, the genuineness of salvation, God's forgiveness of our sins, was and is dependent on confession of our inability to be forgiven without the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You do not begin that relationship with prejudice on the side of human strength, it's only available to those willing to surrender their will to God's divine, unlimited strength. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.